Welcome back. I hope you have your canvas set up on your almighty easel and ready to paint along with us. thought today we'd show you how to do snow. And we've had several requests, people asking us, how do you put snow? How do you make it look like its snow is falling? So I thought that's what we'd do today. So we're going to start out here with a little Van Dyke brown and Prussian blue, and we'll very quickly throw a little sky in here. And we're looking for a sky that's sort of gray, overcast. So we'll sort of test it and see how it looks. There we go. That's a nice gray color, sort of a blue-gray. We've already got the canvas covered with the magic white. So we're actually blending color right here on the canvas. We're mixing a painting. Mixing a painting right on the canvas. Okay. Maybe just a little bit more right here. Put some life in the sky. If it's snowing, we have all kind of things going on. And we'll gently hypnotize a little bit. Don't want to kill all the little actions that we've created in here. And we'll take a little more of the same color. And let's just lay in a little bit of water. We might as well make some almighty mountains today, too. What the heck? If you learn how to make mountains using this knife, a knife will probably never give you any more problems. Okay. Okay. Let's take some titanium white. And maybe we'll just... Lay in some nice clouds that are just laying around up here in the sky, having fun. Dropping snow on us, that's what they're doing. There we go. I'm using quite a bit of paint here. And you can put these at any angle you want. And probably at this point, you're looking at that and say, my God, he's got a mess going there today. But hopefully it'll come out. Okay. Now we'll take, take the almighty brush and we're going to start pulling this. Look at that. Instant clouds. But you need a good firm paint to do this, otherwise it's just going to smear on you. Okay, maybe we'll take, put a little gray underneath some of these. Take a little blue, brown, and white. Okay, and just here and there we'll lay a little touch of gray. Just to give it sort of an overcast feeling. Okay, now let's work that in. There we go. Okay, let's build an almighty mountain. We'll take some blue and some brown. A little touch of alizarin crimson. And let's put us a nice mountain right up through here. Maybe a little peak like so. And we'll just let that run right on off. Okay, with a big brush, we'll pull that down. A little bit of titanium white, and we'll lay some snow on here. A little bit back on this peak. There we go. 
Let this paint break. Most important that it break and let some of these dark areas show through. Maybe another little peak over here. It's your mountain, so you can do whatever you want to with it. Let these peaks just occur. Okay, we'll take some blue and white. Make us a shadow color. There we go. And let's lay some shadows in here. Very lightly. Just want that paint to barely touch the canvas and to break as it comes floating down through here. Okay, we'll give this little peak his own shadow. And we'll lay a few little shadows here and there. Oh, I see a little ridge right there. There he is. Just swing that around a little. Okay, now let's diffuse this real good. And all we're doing is tapping. Don't want to destroy. There we go. Now maybe we'll put an, another range of mountains in here. We'll use the same colors, but make them darker to give the impression that it's closer to us. Okay, let's have one coming right up through here. And we'll let him come over, maybe like so. And then fall down. Okay, take off all the excess paint. And here's what's nice. If you want to change the shape, change it. There. Like that a little bit better. Okay, we'll pull that loose paint down. Put some snow on him. Let's go right over here and let this one come down and work its way down. Maybe we'll just bring these together. See how you can put mountains together? Unbelievable amount of power that you control to be able to move mountains and to change them. Okay, we need some highlight right here. And let's put some shadows in. See, another decision you have to make is this peak on this side or that side. And if you want to push it back, all we have to do is come down through here, bring that shadow right through it, and automatically he goes into the background. Okay, then we'll diffuse this one. This one's nice and soft. <clears throat> okay, let's throw in a few little trees back in here. And we'll take a little brown and a little touch of blue and some white. And we want this to be very soft. So we're mixing a color that's 
almost the same color that we've used here and sort of lay it up against here and taste it, test it, make sure it works. And we'll put a little tree right there. Look at that little rascal, just jumped right off your fan brush. And we'll give him a little friend. Just enough to get it to come off the knife. And we'll take a little bit of this color and we'll begin deciding where this ends. So we'll just lay some little, little banks right there. Just like so. <clears throat> and we'll catch a hold of just the bottom of that. Pull us a little touch of reflection down into here. Okay, I want this to look misty, so I'm going to tap back here. Just tap it and tap it and tap it and lift it a little bit just to create the illusion of mist back in the distance. Okay, let's come a little bit farther closer. We'll add a little more color, a little brown, a little blue. And maybe we'll put a tree here. Everybody needs a friend. Okay. Now, we'll come just a little closer, so I'm going to darken the paint just a little bit more. As you come closer, let these trees get darker and darker. Maybe there's one right here in the front. Just a little one. Okay, little areas of grass in here. Okay. Now, let's take a little bit of the magic white and put us a little water line into here. And we'll just let this sort of work around the corner. just to create the, the little water line here. And we got another little hill coming right down. There. Okay, we'll pull this one down just a little touch.
magic white. Okay, now let's do something on the other side here. And let's put a little tree right there. He's far away too. give him something to stand on out here. Maybe we'll have a little cliff just sort of hanging around. There. And we need a little bit of snow on top. Like so. Let that come all the way out there. And maybe then we have a larger hill that's coming down. There we go. Pull a little bit of that down. here, there's a place that just sort of breaks off. Snow doesn't hang right there. Just sort of, there we go. Okay. Put us some water lines around this. And let's take a little bit of white mixed with a little magic white here, just to make it a touch thinner. Just bring it right on around. There. Just some snow laying right along in here up against that little cliff area. Okay, and then we can bring this right on down. Make us a little, like a little cove there. one of these little coves, really all you have to do is just sort of lay a shadow in. We could put another one in here, for example, if you wanted to. And then bring it down so it just comes right down to it. There. Okay. Now we'll put just a few more little trees right in here. These are getting closer, so they're beginning to get quite a bit bigger. Just drop him in real quick. You need a lot of paint in your fan brush when you're doing this. Okay, some little grassy areas. And a little more paint on my brush. Let's do an almighty tree right here. Okay. This fan brush is a fantastic little piece of equipment. Practice with it, use it, make friends with it. It'll do things for you that you wouldn't believe. But it's like everything else, you really need to practice with it. It has to, has to be a friend. See, maybe you want to put another little tree right here. And that's all there is to it. Just decide where you want him, let him fall in. And we'll put some little grassy areas working their way down. 
This helps show the lay of the land. Okay, let's go back over here a second and I'll throw a couple more little things right in there. Okay, wash the brush. Now, let's take a little bit of the thin oil, mix it with some brown, just a little touch. And we want this quite light. Don't let it get too dark on you. And we'll just put in a few little sticks that are showing here and there. And the farther back they go, the smaller they should get, and the, and the lighter in color. Maybe back in here somewhere, just some kind of little thing working around. There. Okay. And we can take the knife and cut a few little sticks in here and there. Just a few small ones. Okay, maybe we'll go up here and sharpen that point a little touch. Okay, let me wash out the fan brush here. And we'll show you how to make some happy little snow on this. I'm going to take some magic white and thin it even a little bit thinner using some paint thinner. So it's very, very thin now. It's almost, it's almost the consistency of water. And if I may, I'm going to lay the palette down so I can use both hands. And we'll just work off the pallet laying right here. And we'll take <clears throat> the fan brush is loaded with a lot of very loose paint. And we're going to take here and just flip this against so it flips little globules of snow up here. Can you see what's happening? That's all we're doing is just flipping it right against the fan brush. Isn't that something? Used to spend weeks and weeks sitting around with a one-haired brush trying to make all these little snow things fall. And all you gotta do is just flip this brush, bend the bristles and make it pop. And we can create all the snow we want. Let's put a little bit more on here. There we go, look at all that snow. Got your heavy coat out yet? It's getting colder. I really suggest you do this in an area, though, where you're not going to cover the whole house with snow. Nothing's going to make your husband or wife madder than coming home and having a snow-covered dinner. So, be careful where you do this. It does splatter and go all over the place. And you can get carried away and, and finally just cover up the whole picture with snow. Nice even distribution. There we go. A little bit more paint. I need some more right in here. And you can learn to control this very well. You can have it hit just about anywhere you want. You can make little bitty ones or bigger ones according to what type of snowflakes you're trying to make. This old magic knife does a little bit of everything. Just have to make friends with it and use it. Now I'm getting into some real fine snow. This is also a nice way to create, create a misty effect. You can keep working an area with very fine little globules of paint, and it makes a beautiful little misty area, if you ever want to do that. Once again, this is Magic White, thinned even thinner, with a little bit of odorless paint thinner. OK, 
Okay, let's go back up here and put just a little more in the sky. Okay, I think that's enough to give you the idea of how to do it. Find my old Mountie palette again. Okay. Maybe, see one little area here I'd like to tinker with a little bit. I'd like to put a tree right here to, to sort of kill this area. I sort of left it open, so that's no problem. You just go back and put you one more little happy tree in. And then you'll have to put some snow over the top of him to make him fit into the picture a little better. Okay. And that's basically how we make snow. So let's take and uh, put a few more little sticks here and there. Just let them go. Just let that, that just sort of blends right into the mist and just sort of disappears into the background. Okay. Now, maybe we'll put just a stick or two here. Just a little bit. Put a little tree here that just lost all of his little leaves and stuff. Cold weather's got him. This reminds me a great deal of my home. It's quite often we see these areas where we can see the almighty mountains and all the mist, beautiful mist. There we go. And we can just take, put a little touch of highlight on that. A little snow laying here and there on the tree. Okay, I think we're going to call that one finished. I hope you've enjoyed it. And when you're trying this at home, once again, just take your Magic White, thin it down with paint thinner, and flip it on there using the fan brush and the knife. And be careful where you do it, or you'll have a happy, happy house that's covered with snow from one end to the other. And until we meet again, thank you very, very much for watching us. Happy painting.